Hey everybody, Boone Wyatt with the 323 Concept Furniture Restoration here. Thank you so much for joining us today on the 323 vlog. Today we are looking at this dining table top. It's a real small top. It has two drop leaves that we've already taken off. But what are we doing with this table today? Today I want to um, show how we go about doing some re-gluing. Um, as you see, um, the joint right here all the way across is starting to separate. It's still intact just a little bit towards the end, but for the most part, the first couple feet here, we're starting to see some separation and it's real loose. So um, without further ado, let's jump right in and we'll show you how we go about repairing something like that. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is detach the top from the base. Antiques are real simple, usually, um, usually around the perimeter, the base attaches to the top using a number of flathead screws. So we're gonna go around and take those out just using a regular flathead um, screwdriver. Put that together so we don't lose track. And now we have separated the top from the base. So we wanted to do that so I can get a good clamp on this top without the base interfering. If those are attached, you know, it could stop us from clamping this up properly. So um, from here, let's flip it over and take a look. So this is our joint, this first joint running all the way across here is starting to come loose. So um, to be able to get glue on there, I could just put some on this area um, and probably call it a day. But to be safe, I want to detach. This is a, you can tell it's the joint where it's two separate boards to begin with. So I think it'll be easy enough if we just heat that joint up and separate the whole piece. So I'm gonna flip it over so I don't damage the finish on the top. And it's already loose over on this side. Um, so we're gonna focus on heating up this joint right here and uh, trying to separate that. So what that's doing is the heat is heating up the glue, reactivating that so that it'll break loose. All right. That was about 60 seconds of heating up. Try to get just a little bit of a prying device in there. All right, so we've got the glue joint loose, um, the whole manufactured edge here. So next step is gonna be to come through here, make sure all of the glue residue is off of your joint. Um, in order to get a good tight bond between these two joints, we gotta make sure that it's clear of all uh, dirt, dust, um, and glue residue. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna use this tool right here. This is a Baco um, carbide scraper. I believe it's model 625. Um, awesome little carbide scraper tool. And I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you're interested in this. But if you do furniture repair work, these are really, really good to, to clean off residue, um, and which is pretty common if, if you're doing it. So um, let's jump right in. We'll clean up these joints and then we'll see how we glue it back together. I'll mention that it's worth noting to be very careful when you're working next to this finish surface. If you feel uncomfortable, like you might slip, you might put a couple layers of tape and protect this finished surface. The um, last thing you want to do is clean this up and gouge the top really bad. So uh, just be careful. All right, believe it or not, that's all it took. Um, in this case, we sort of lucked out, the joint was coming loose, so that sort of tells you that the glue was, was uh, hardly there to begin with. So um, we're already done cleaning that up. I might do just a little bit of light sanding and then we'll glue it up. Now we wanna get our glue ready. 
So I've got Type Bond 3 glue um, that I'm gonna be using. And this is just my glue applicator bottle, makes it really easy to, to get it along edges. And this is my glue applicator brush. It's a silicone brush. So after it hardens up, um, I've just peeled it, but after it hardens up, you can just peel it right out of the bristles here and it'll come right out every time. So, and you only have to replace these heads every so often. So um, great tool to have both of these. All right. So to clamp it, I'm gonna use my bar clamps, but um, especially on antiques, you wanna be very careful not to damage the edging of your piece. So what I'm gonna do is go get some scrap wood and we'll put that on both sides before we clamp it so we don't make indentations on your tabletop. All right, so we're ready to glue this up. I've got um, four clamps to clamp uh, the main joint here, let me show you. We'll use four clamps across this surface here to go from side to side, but I've also got some of these F-style clamps to uh, clamp down on the edges just to help keep them um, level, try to keep our surface, our surface from warping. So um, you'll get a better view here in a second as I zoom out and just sort of um, show you what we're doing here. We're gonna let that dry up for at least 30 minutes. Um, they say no pressure on it for 24 hours when it comes to tight bond and that's your best result. So um, we'll let it dry up for at least 30 minutes before we try reattaching it to the top and then we'll sort of summarize everything. All right, everybody, that concludes our video for today. Thank you so much for watching with us. If you've got any questions whatsoever, um, feel free to comment below. We'd be happy to answer any of those for you. Or if you have any suggestions, we always love suggestions. Um, if you liked our video, don't forget to smash that like button and that'll really help us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you liked it and wanna share it with somebody, don't forget to uh, hit that share button and share it with them. And um, as always, if you wanna see future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell so you receive future video updates. Uh, we try to do one every week. Um, but like I said, um, thanks for tuning in. As you saw, it was just a simple tabletop re-glue. Um, we pretty much heated it up, separated the joint, cleaned it up, um, put some glue on there, put some equal pressure of clamps on both sides. And um, from there, the only thing I didn't do in the video that I would definitely recommend is using wax paper. I forgot when I was doing it, but use wax paper um, in between the wood joint and those wood pieces that I used so I didn't damage the wood. I would put those in between the two so that your glue doesn't stick to that piece of wood that, that you use in that case. So um, that'll really help out. And like I said, I just forgot this time and <laughs> ended up uh, having to do a little touch up afterwards. So. If y'all are interested in any of the tools we used in the video, like the carbide scraper or the glue applicator and silicone brush, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find those. And um, as always, thanks for watching and we will see y'all next time. Thanks y'all.